I study neuroscience um, in Ottawa and um, I'm hoping to become a clinician researcher. I really like researching um, mental illness and depression and I also um, work a lot with youth. I was diagnosed with depression um, when I was quite young. I guess like the first thing, the first symptom that was really present with me was self-harming. You know, on a day when I'm feeling really particular deep particularly depressed um, like I might not get out of bed the whole day and um, like I will literally hide under the covers. And when you're clinically depressed this is a very very real illness that requires help. This is not something that you can deal with on your own. There are a host of biological processes that are happening in your body, um, in your brain, when it comes to certain chemicals that might be at play, um, hormonal changes, neuroinflammation. So there are a lot of things at play that are happening and just because we can't see it, like you might be able to see a tumor, doesn't mean it's not happening. The extent that you go to to kind of hide it from people is, is pretty extreme. Like, you know, you put on makeup and you you know put on an nice shirt and then you know it's all better kind of thing but it's not like that and I feel like that's kind of why it's hard for for, for people to support you because like they don't really know what it's like they don't they don't see you suffer so they 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 don't know how to support you they don't know when like hey I need to I really need to step up right now just get over it just like just get up just just go out the door sort of like it's it's not that easy and if it was that easy then you know, people wouldn't have depression, like it wouldn't be a clinical illness. Um, and, and I think it, it does frustrate me when people think that people with depression aren't resilient because I find people with mental illness to be some of the most resilient people I've ever met because they have to be. Um, they have to fight for treatment, they have to advocate for themselves, they have to, um, you know, go to the hospital and, and go to appointments and it's, it's exhausting sometimes. And, and just to keep living every day is, is super resilient.